Well then, here's a motley crew. Find a bitter in a whiskey chaser, is it, Peter? Very funny. I'll get these. All right. Bad, bad man. Uh, I'll have an orange juice, mate, and a white wine for Lee, please. Do you know you're double dating here, don't you? Oh, shut up. All right. Is that right? Ah, oh, Simon's over there now. We've given him the day off school. We told him, any bets over a grand? Just come and get us. You ever thought of doing stand-up? <laughs> no, Deirdre, Peter's stepmom, she's there. It's the first shift, actually, and to be honest, she's been a right pain in the backside. Well, go for it and conquer. Yeah. Pity about the shirt, though, eh? <laughs> what? Yeah, he wants to call it fair miles. The idea being that every time you arrive in one of our cabs, the driver would write down the mileage on your own little card. Well, your own little card. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so every time you did a thousand miles, you got ten miles free. A thousand miles? Who's going to clock up a thousand miles in a street cab car? Well, that's what I said. I said it was too high. Or do you reckon that Emily Bishop was in with this yard? Talk to me out of it in the end, though. We'll be coming with loads of mad things in our time. What's the maddest thing anyone's ever left in a cab? Well, apart from your mobile phone. <laughs> right, I'd better get back to the bookies, see if it's still standing. Yeah, yeah I'll come with you. Okay. I'll ring you later. See you later, Paul. Yeah, see you later, kid. Can I talk you into one more? I'd love to, but I'd better not. I'm late for something. No problem. You wouldn't have a cab free. Hey, you're looking at him. 